Have you ever come up on a furnace that is giving you an open limit fall? What I like to do is check the airflow going across the furnace. The best way to do this is by using the temperature rise method. Let me show you how. First, what you will do is take the air temperature in your supply duct. The next step that you will do is take your return air temperature. In this example, our supply air temperature is 120 degrees. Our return air temperature is 70 degrees. You will then take the difference of these two numbers, 50 equals our temperature rise. The next step that you will do is find your BTU output of the furnace. This information can be found in the tech spec. Write that number down. Next, you'll take your temperature rise times 1.08. In our example, 54. The next step is to take your output BTU, which in our case is 76,000, and you're gonna divide that by the 54 from calculating our temperature rise. This number will equal the CFM of the output of the furnace, which in our case is 1,407 CFM. If the temperature rise is too high, per your blower chart, this indicates a lack of airflow. And this is what could be causing your limit to trip. Get the supply temperature, get the return temperature, calculate the temperature rise, find the BTU number, Take your temperature rise times 1.08 and calculate the CFM. And that's how you determine the airflow going across a furnace. You can find more tips like this at edgetechhvac.com.